The following is a Swiss Army Knife Animation Production. Well, you look like shit. What happened? That's actually the reason I got you out of prison for this interview. Huh? I thought it was your birthday and you wanted me to be your clown. Uh, well, n not exactly. Damn it. They got me all dressed up like this. The guard out front did my face paint. He did a horrible job. Now I look like an ass. I wasn't going to say anything, but you don't really look like the killer clown we've all come to love. Hey, I hate that nickname. Oh, sorry. I much prefer Killer Harlequin. What about Homicidal Harlequin? Don't try to punch up my life, internet interview man. Hey, we're syndicated now. I actually just wanted to bring you on to get some info on how to defend myself. In my last interview, I was attacked by an out of control mobster. Why did you turn to the camera when you said that? Oh, they don't like when you out them for being in the mob. So I figured I'd put a little bit of pizzazz on it. It was a little over the top. You're dressed like a clown. You requested it. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Anyways, last episode I was brutally attacked by a mob hitman with a foot fetish. I wanted to bring you on to learn how to defend myself from another inevitable attack. You got a convicted serial killer. Wrongfully convicted, mind you. Oh, I know. I helped get you off death row in 94. Thank you for that. But you got me out of jail just to ask me how to murder some criminal? Well, not really murder him. Just show him I'm a hip guy that means business. You don't want to mess with the old flambe man. Also, everyone I know are pansies, so... I've noticed. Oh, boy. I'd have you under my crawlspace in less than 20 minutes, sex lips. I'm sure. Okay, okay, let's cool down. I just want to know how to defend myself against these fools trying to step to me. So, I don't have a lot of experience dealing with fools trying to step to me, but I do have experience outsmarting people. Oh, I like that. Why don't you show me? Well, the thing is, I'm going to need you to unshackle my cuffs. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Shut up, young boy. This is my ship. I'm the captain. I call the shots. I don't think that's such a good idea. Aw, oh, come on. I'm harmless. I'll just show you how to trick people into putting handcuffs on. Hmm. Seems above the board. What could go wrong? Exactly. I just need someone to go distract the guards out front first. They might not be super gung-ho about what we're about to do. Assistant, go play zone defense. You're going to willingly be in a room with an unhandcuffed murderer? Now! Now, I know how to jimmy them open, but I need two people. Alright, what do I do? Just put your hand here. Okay. Okay, okay. So what you want to do is trick them into wearing the cuffs. How'd you do that? First, you put them on to show them that they're harmless. So, go ahead. Hmm. Lure them into a false sense of safety. Genius. Now what? You dumb, dumb man. Wait, what? Now I have you all to myself. Oh, shit! Hey, man, wait a minute. A little old and hairy for me, but I'll make do. Come on, guy! I helped get your death penalty conviction overturned. Then this is a double irony for you, huh? Guards, help! Oh, fuck! Assistant, help me! Help me! Help me! Help me!